2010 Jaguar CX-75. Overview. Jaguar celebrated 75 years of history with the unveiling of the CX-75 concept at the Paris Auto Show. Besides being a range-extended electric two-seated supercar, the CX-75 previews the company's future design language, and we are really hoping that it is a preview version of the Jaguar's long-rumored supercar to keep the weight down. The body is made from aluminum and the interior is covered in leather. The seats, unlike most cars, are fixed, but the pedals and instruments move. There are three TFT screens that provide the driver with information. Basically, all the normal concept car goodies are here, which is a good thing because Jaguar has no plans to build this car. We would have enjoyed seeing this new car in production as it would give the German-built Porsche 918 a run for its money. The concept's exterior is defined by beautiful proportions, sculpted lines and powerful stance. It features a simple central fuselage surrounded by prominent wheel arches, two beautifully sculpted cell-mounted aluminum intakes, stunning alloy wheels and forward hinged doors. The car's interior is equally impressive, with the driver and passenger seated ahead of a sealed airbox that houses the micro-gas turbines. The seats are fixed to the bulkhead as in a single-seater racing car. The CX-75 concept is both a celebration of 75 years of iconic Jaguar design and a look into the future of automotive technology. Designed as a range-extended electric two-seater supercar, it explores the outer limits of both performance and sustainability. With plug-in capability the car can achieve a zero-tailpipe emissions range of 110 km, 68 miles, three times round Paris's peripherique when running under battery power alone, plus a potential top speed of 330 km per hour, 205 miles per hour, and blistering acceleration. The car demonstrates that it is possible to retain Jaguar's core values of performance, design and luxury using technology that will make environmentally responsible performance and electric vehicles a practical proposition.